making this video about Final Cut Pro 10, HLG, and proxies. The version I'm using is 10.4.6 because I'm still on High Sierra and Apple unfortunately will not allow me to upgrade to a version higher than this until I upgrade my OS to either Mojave or Catalina. If you're using Catalina and a newer version of Final Cut Pro than this, not to worry because the same problem uh, will occur on your version as well. And what I'm covering today is something that pertains to the past videos I made. This is one of them. I will link this video and another one for you in the text description below the text description. As you know, if you're on a desktop computer, you click show more and it drops down and there are various links in there. So I will provide a link to this video for you. But what we're talking about is HLG, which is a high definition HDR format, also known as Rec 2020 and my other video talks about how to put that on a Rec. 709 timeline. Recently, people have been talking, uh, as recently as four days ago, James Patton here is saying that he has HLG footage, it's 4K, and it's overexposed when he's using proxies. So I haven't been using proxies, at least not until now, and I just wanted to try to reproduce the problem to not only help James, but others who I've seen have reported this before, and I found either a bug or at least buggy behavior that I want to show you. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. The first thing I want to do is hit Command I on my keyboard, which will bring up the import dialog. And those of you who have used Final Cut Pro are familiar with this. Just for example, we're going to click a movie file here and we can see various options on the side. I want to point your eyes to the transcoding section right here. You have two uh, choices. Uh, create optimized media which converts your camera footage into ProRes. Uh, the reason you would want to do this is if you have a fast enough computer that can play actually play back ProRes on your timeline then it's good to do that but be aware it's going to create very large file sizes. For those of you who have an older computer like I do, mine is a mid-2015 15-inch MacBook Pro. It's a top-end model which is the best they had back in the day but it's still not enough to play even optimized ProRes 4K 10-bit back. So uh, for those of us who want to have a more streamlined editing experience, we need to check this box, Create Proxy Media, and this creates a lower res version of your media, but don't worry, your original media is still there. You could also, if you want to, put the checkbox here, but in my opinion, there's no logical reason to do that. This is only going to play back the 4K version. Sure, it's ProRes, but if you can't even play back the ProRes version, there's no meaning to create this. It's just wasting space. So I would suggest if you need proxy media, all you need is proxy media. And then you import your footage. Now, here we have uh, some over here on the left sidebar. Those of you know when you, you import footage, it appears over here. And then down here below, we have a timeline. This is a yet unfinished video on vintage Mac fans for all of my fans out there. Um, still not finished yet, but I just wanted to use it as an example uh, for this video because um, if I go up to this view menu, we see it pulled down here. And if we look at the settings under the quality settings, we see optimized and proxy. Now, if we choose proxy, we can see that I've created some proxy media because you can still see it here even after I switch to proxy. But over here, we see some red, over here we see some red and it's clearly saying it's missing the proxy. Now the problem here is blown out highlights and so before I get too deep into proxies I'll go back to the original media and just click on a clip here and show you over here on the right sidebar there's something called color space override. There's two different ways you can deal with HLG. You can either use color space override set to rec 2020 like this or you can use a LUT. So let's go ahead and try the LUT. We're going to turn off color space override. You see that the highlights are blown out. It's beyond IRE 100. Not to worry, your footage is not ruined. It's just that you're displaying the high dynamic range footage without any type of compensation. So if we change to, uh, I have the Leaming LUT, various versions, we'll just put on the Leaming LUT and it drops it back down below 100 IRE. So basically it's the same whether you choose to use a LUT or if you choose Rec 2020, the same thing is taking place 
It is making sure that your highlights are not blown out. You do not want to avoid using either the LUT or the color space override. You do not want to try to grade it by pulling it down. It will not work that way. It may seem like it'll work, but that's not the way you do it. You either want to use a LUT like the Leeming HLG or you want to use color space override. The LUTs usually cost money. The other color space override is free. So for most of you, Rec 2020 setting, color space override is probably all you need. Now, with that said, uh, the problem that we're finding here is when you create proxy footage, sometimes that setting is missing and all manner of craziness can happen. And I'm going to show you that now. So if we go here to proxy, uh, we can see that this is missing. And it says here 494, 494. This is the same clip over here. This particular clip is set up with color space override. Now, I have already imported this. And it's now after the fact that I say, oh, I want to create proxy media. How do you do that? Right click on it and then transcode media. Same two check boxes that we saw in the import media box. Create proxy media is all you need. So go ahead and click OK. And we can see up here, it's currently transcoding. Now I want to point your eyes over here to color space override. Again, it's set up to Rec 2020, and that is actually a problem. Uh, it is a bug, in my opinion. Now, some of you might be smarty pants on me and say, well, you're not supposed to do that. Well, <laughs> intuitively speaking, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. It should just do the right thing automatically. But uh, actually, it doesn't. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to show you here now once it finishes this transcoding is that if you have color space override set to Rec 2020 or have your LUT uh, set up, and then you right click and you create a proxy, you're actually going to create a problem. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show that to you here. It's almost finished doing its transcode. And I'll show you exactly what's going on. But basically, you're going to get some blown out highlights and not going to be able to fix them. OK, so it finished its transcoding. And if we switch, or actually, we could switch to the Finder, but I just want to show you. It's set on proxy, right? It's no longer red. If we set it here to optimized, or to the original media, it seems to look OK, doesn't it? But actually, oh, it's blown out. Ah, blown out. OK, so what do we do? We click it. Hmm, set to Rec 2020. Let's go ahead and set it off. No change. Try it back again. No change. That's the bug. <laughs> so you created your footage, and you're not able to fix it here. Now, if you choose Camera LUT and the Leaming LUT, what do you know? It doesn't work either. <laughs> That's the bug. Whether you try to use the LUT, color space override, it's not working. It's not working. So how do you fix the problem? Well, you got to trash your newly created proxy. How do you do that? Well, what you want to do is you want to reveal it in the Finder. And there it is, 494. And I'll show you the path. Inside your library, there's um, the folder called fans because I, I labeled it this way. And inside that is the original media. So this is the original media. You can see it's about a gig. But there's also a proxy media folder inside a transcoded folder. And you'll see there is the newly created proxy. It's much smaller. So let's switch back. We're going to quit Final Cut Pro. We're going to command delete that proxy file. Then I'm going to launch Final Cut Pro again. If you don't do this, sometimes when you switch back to Final Cut Pro, that color space override pop-up will vanish. That is another related bug. Now, because I deleted the proxy media, you see 494 is back to its red, good old red self again. <laughs> there is no proxy media because we just deleted it. So I click on it. Uh, what do you know? Color space override, even though we relaunched Final Cut Pro, 
it's gone. Let's try it again. Quit. Relaunch Final Cut Pro. Sometimes it takes twice. Hopefully it'll show up this time. Hmm. Let's do a switch over. Still not showing. Quit it. Launch it again. I'm not showing my face. You don't want to see my face. There's frustration on my face. Frustration with the bugs. All right. Finally. <laughs> Here it is. It finally appears. OK. So uh, it's appearing, and it's off. Right? Proxy media. We don't see the proxy media. Right? So. The key point here, color space override is off, camera LUT turned off. Okay. Right click it, transcode media. Create proxy media. Okay. It's going to go through the same process again, but this time is different than last. This time we have color space override set to off, and that makes all the difference. And of course, if you don't want to use this and use LUTs, make sure that's set to none. This is the key point. To avoid trouble, with your HLG footage, doesn't matter if you have a Panasonic GH5, doesn't matter if you have a Sony, HLG is HLG, Rec 2020 is Rec 2020, and this is going to apply to you. Okay? You absolutely, positively want to make sure that these two settings are set to off and none before you do your right click and create proxy media. Okay. And now, we can see it is finished. It looks blown out, but that is because it is set to off. Let's set it to, to on. Ba -bom! And there we go. Now it looks correct. This is the way it is supposed to look. If we go to optimized original, there we are. Select the clip, turn it off. Looks blown out. 2020. Looks fine. It's turned off. Try the LUT. Looks fine. So that is the solution here. I'm going to use color space override. And again, we can switch to proxy. Select our clip. Turn it off. Looks blown out. Rec 2020. Looks fine. Turn it off. Try the LUT. It works fine. So that is the fix here. If you've already imported footage, you right click, transcode media, you want to create, pro it's dimmed out because we've already created the proxy, but you want to create proxy media. Before you do that, make absolutely sure here in the left sidebar that this is set to off and LUT is set to none. And then you can avoid the problems with the footage. And really, that's it, folks. That's all the video I wanted to make. Uh, I would highly recommend that you file a bug report with Apple about this if you've experienced it yourself. Uh, it's If it's just me who files the bug report, Apple usually ignores it. I mean, they, I've filed lots of bug reports in the past. And even though I follow up with them, it's, it's usually a dead end if I'm the only one reporting it. But this is clearly a bug or buggy behavior at work. And um, especially with that disappearing color space override setting. You saw that, right? And I had to restart Final Cut Pro several times to get it back. It is extremely bothersome, but if you do it in the correct way that I've just outlined in this video, uh, you should be up and running. So once again, please check the text description down below for links to my other two videos on how to use HLG and to see what the benefits are compared to some other color profiles, which is especially useful if you have a GH5, but it's also useful if you have a Sony or other cameras too. So thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful.